What's up guys? I'm back with another video and today we're going to be making a little enclosure for a leopard gecko. So let's get to it and see how this is done. Alright guys, now the first thing I'm going to do is just dampen the soil, which I already have done a while ago. So it's nice and wet. So now I'm just going to mix it up a little bit more. So now I'm going to just flatten it out. Now you could make it higher at the top, so actually I think I'm going to do that sort of make it a little bit higher at the top and lower down here. So, here we go. This looks pretty good. So, I'm just going to build it up towards the top here. And there we go. Just kind of build it up here. looks pretty good all right so that looks good for the actual terrain so let me show you guys here and I can't really see on the camera so I'm going to actually put it in here it's actually as it as it goes up here it gets a lot higher and there's a little divot down here where this is where all the plants and stuff are gonna go and maybe some up here it's gonna it's gonna look pretty cool when it's done kind of hard to explain right now but this looks pretty neat so I think I'm just gonna go with this alright so this is our actual leopard gecko right here now his name is Trooper because he's actually if you can see he's got a lot of scars because he was actually fighting with the other leopard gecko that I had in there a long time ago so he's got scars from that but that's the leopard gecko that's gonna be going in here and this is what I'm going to be putting in the tank so now I do have fake plants here, although I do not like fake plants. I just don't like the look of them. I'm going to upgrade to live plants later once I get my new room. But right now, I, I this is just my reptile room for now. But uh, right. But later, I'm going to um, instead of have fake plants in them, I'm going to have live plants because I have a couple really nice large grow lights that's going to go all the way across all the tanks. So that should be pretty neat. I'm just. Patting this down one more time. All right, so now, first of all, I'm going to first put this probably, I'd say this looks pretty neat. Just press that down a bit. That looks pretty neat. Okay, so now this stuff, these are pretty difficult to actually get to stay up, so I'm just going to Set those down quite deep. It can just be like grass just kind of sticking up. I'm going to actually clump them together to make it sort of look like a lush environment. Just kind of spread them out a bit. Put one more probably right here. That looks pretty good to me for now. And uh, now, next, I'm going to just jam these down in here. This looks pretty good for now. So, I have actually a few of these, so I'm just going to clump these together. And put this one over here, even. That looks pretty neat. So, down here, I'm just going to clump these together. Now, although I should have put these up here because there's not much soil, and it'll be a lot harder to actually get these in for good for them to stay here. Alright, so, I'm just going to have to take the soil and push it down. I think this will work for now. This looks good. So I have a little hide here, and uh, honestly, I think I'm just gonna leave that out because that that'll be too much. So let's see here. I have a little wooden stick. That I think I can just place somewhere just around here, just randomly. Right there looks all right. 
Alright, so next, just have a little fake plant that I can just set in here. Now, what I would like to do is just kind of make this a little more snug so I can put this plant in here and make it look a lot better. So, I want to hide these little things here. No, I just don't like the look of that, but I think it's going to have to do for now. Press this down in here. Okay, so now I got that. I'm just going to press this in to make sort of like less of a seam down here. Okay, so that looks pretty good around there. Yeah, all right, that looks pretty decent. All right, okay, so there is one last thing I want to put in there, and that's this little thing here. So I think this would fit in here a little bit better and a little bit seamlessly. That looks a little bit better. And sort of just creep up here. Looks too random, honestly. Sorry, my dog is barking like crazy. This looks pretty good right there. It's kind of like creeping up here. So, that is the finished tank. Sort of lush with a lot of plants in here because, I don't know, I think they're nor normally just, they're actually native to South America, so I mean, just figured why not. Okay, so, here we go. Let's just let them crawl in there and I'm going to quickly get him some water, and that should be good. Alright guys, I'm just going to put some dechlorinator in. A little bit more. There we go. Now, although the, uh, just normal water from our uh, faucets and stuff is bad for them, I can put this dechlorinator in, and uh, that'll take out most of the, the uh, chlorine, so that's pretty good. That looks good. So I'm just going to just pour a little bit in there. Okay. Put a little bit everywhere. Alright, well that looks pretty good. I'm going to wipe off the tank and just show it off. Alright guys, well this is the finished result. And it looks like he's already hiding in. Right there. Alright guys, well if you enjoyed this video and this video did help you, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And comment down below if you have any more questions about this kind of stuff. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.